Bratislava, Slovakia we've not been to yet. We've got to drive through the length of Austria to get there, but that's not going to be that different lengthwise than likes of Belgium or the Netherlands anyway, right? So, yeah, uh, from there, I guess we could then go jobs from Hungary, adds a little bit more, or at that point, we just quick travel to, like, Luxembourg and try our luck. We don't need to worry about driving anywhere else to pick up the trailer, at least. We have to worry about finding it in this haystack. Okay, I have no idea where the trailer is going to be parked somewhere off to the right oh that's an excavator right there is that mine surely surely that's just the trailer right there right? this isn't a very large location so okay good <laughs> and it's all lined up to get out of here that's nice <laughs> so at some point we're going to want to go south from here in order to discover the rest of the route and there is also like a photo opportunity or something down there but that is not for this day <laughs> today we make deliveries and that's it we're going to need to sleep again on the job our sleep schedule in this game has gone completely out of whack normally i try not to drive overnight but uh, we just don't really have much choice at the moment um, we just don't have anywhere convenient to sleep at the moment then turn right. Okay, so we're going back through that way. It'd be nice if there was a slightly more direct way up, but that's fine. And then we're going to be going through the twisty turny bit through where the border crossing is. It'd be nice if we could just go straight through this forest bit here and join onto that road that we know is just over there. <laughs> But we'll go through the whole border town area. Yeah, 12 hours on the road. That's going to be another half an hour or so delivery, at least. He's turning? Okay, sure. He's going back onto the motorway going the other direction. The AI in this is uh, very interesting. But I'm glad he's not in my way, so that's fine. Coming, good. And this should be trucks only through here anyway. Somehow we missed the traffic light. We don't need fuel yet. Maybe we should just go down into Munich. Because then we can go to the services, we can sleep, and we can stop for fuel at the same time. I'm just gonna jump ahead. Hope that there's no traffic. Good lovely dawn light at the roundabout take the first exit exit now all right i think we can go scenic again for now ooh crunch missed that there was a barrier there go straight Almost into the river. <laughs> Probably shouldn't go 90 through a sleepy little village like this. I say sleepy, there, there's a lot of cars. This is a very busy village, turns out. Lights are going to change just as I jump the queue, aren't they? No? Good. Perfect. No way am I waiting that long through that queue of traffic just to continue and then once we're up here it should just be a case of cruise control and watch the scenery go by
All right, so up here we want to, anywhere around this point, probably about there, we want to take a photo of what looks to be a giant sports stadium. Yep, football arena Munich, there you go. Even looks like a giant football. That'll loop. I don't think there's any other light that's going to make that look any more aesthetic, so we'll just leave it at that. Football stadiums are not the most pretty things in the world, especially if you just make them look like a giant pillow. Whatever. Now, we do need sleep and petrol and ideally services, but I did flirt with the idea of actually driving south into Munich there and going to the services as well as refilling and sleeping, but there are rest stop facilities up ahead. And I'm not losing any gears yet, so I don't feel I need to repair. I should, but I don't need to just yet. <laughs> so we'll keep going. I believe our delivery is pretty much into Bratislava city itself, so we'll be pretty close to the services there anyway. Also, we'll be quick traveling almost certainly to another city after that anyway rather than driving somewhere else we'd have to drive to like Budapest or something which is quite a far away so I'd rather just fast travel and be done with it and that means it's always going to put us at a services and if we're going to be quick traveling we may as well try our luck at the likes of Luxembourg or Belgium first I mean, we've still got a long way to... Oh, I was meant to stop at the services back there. Ugh. I caught myself monologuing. <laughs> okay, there's another services up ahead before we hit Salzburg. We just... We have to stop at that one. We just drove straight past without even stopping, without thinking. Oh, dear. Needed to put a pin in the map, really. otherwise I'm going to start blacking out. Was that an engine failure? Yeah, probably. Yes, I know I'm getting tired and I was meant to have already found a place to rest, but... <laughs> Because I was tired, I forgot to stop. That's a weird little slipway on the side there. It's like a little scenic area. They put a photo spot in for a football stadium, but they don't put a photo spot in for a nice lakeside rest stop. What is wrong with people? I know which one I'd rather appreciate. Right, Rust Station. Well, we do also want fuel. Can I get fuel and rest? There doesn't seem to be a way to do both, which is odd. I guess I can probably get away without fueling. 6 p.m. should be fine to keep going. What's our distance to empty? 680 kilometers. We've got 494 to go. I would really prefer to fill up here. But yeah, they don't have the ability to rest and refuel. I have to then go backtracking, drive the wrong way, and cut off someone else just to get to a fuel stop. There's no truck fuel stop on the other side, which is really bizarre. But not as bizarre as it seems like there was a little grey spot on the GPS that I hadn't been to over that side. Oh, it's just the little halo around my uh, truck icon. I say truck icon, my little triangle on the mini-map. That's where I was getting confused. It's such a stupid thing. Why do I have a grey disc around my blue arrow on the map? The blue arrow is plenty. I don't need a grey disc as well. Why am I going right? I'm meant to be going left. 
Uh, it's all going wrong. Yeah, stupid UI decision number 325. Having a grey disc around your truck indicator when undiscovered roads are grey. Well, we've travelled on these roads before, so I think we can just chuck it back into scenic mode. And sit back and enjoy the ride again. Now this was the bit that took us around Vienna, I think, isn't it? Rather than straight through the middle of it. Gas station's up here. I'm not sure whether or not I should just stay on the main road or divert through the gas station for the sake of exploration. But I guess we have to come this way again anyway at some point from the northern part so it doesn't really matter but if we just hit this first little bit maybe and then dip out again well it didn't accomplish anything at all did it I think I was meant to just drive straight through not sure I wasn't sure if I'd actually been on that bit of road before either. Probably not, because I'm discovering this lane as I'm going along, so I can't have already been on the main road either. So, that's fine. We'll reserve it for another time. And there's the southern industrial district down there that we have been to from a different direction. We want to cover off this bit here. It takes us... Just around. Basically we're taking the ring road instead of driving through the center of town. We're 
basically doing the responsible thing instead of what the GPS wanted me to do for some reason. <laughs> We're doing what it should have told us to do, realistically. Feels like we're actually really close to our destination, but I guess it's quite a circuitous route to go south. And I did push the journey further south than I needed to go, just to discover a little bit more of some of the new roads. Probably five minutes away. Depending on how many corners we cut and <laughs> whether or not we have to break suddenly. And it's once again getting dark. Oh, and he's wanting to change lanes into me. I knew that was going to happen. Never mind. I wanted to just keep the line through that corner. Didn't take any damage, interestingly. Yeah, we were going to go that way originally. But push the route a little bit further south. Just so we could discover this bit of road here. Now, is it discovering both sides at the same time? Yes, it is. Excellent. It's not a split road. That's good. That knocks off that bit of map percentage. I don't even know what percentage map I'm at anymore. <laughs> it keeps going down because they keep reworking parts that I've been to before. Which is rather frustrating. But such is the nature of a game that keeps getting updated, I guess, so... Can't really be mad about that. It would be nice if the Pathfinder achievement was just discover every city. I think uh, that would be better for everyone else. I'm glad that I already have the achievement. I still want to rediscover the rest of the map. It, that's more about just I want to go to the, all the new places that I've added. I'm going to be cheeky. <laughs> I'm going to cross... The oh, no. <sighs> I should have gone over to the shoulder. I was thinking, oh, okay, I'll just keep going on here. The, the lane's clear. And then they had to change lanes directly into my path. Right. The thinking was that up here, instead of going up to the right and then having to turn across... I can just take the slip road down to the left. It's like a speedrun strat, basically, of crossing over, driving on the wrong side a bit so that you don't have to take as sharp a corner. Immediately punished by traffic, doing traffic things, and changing lanes to be directly into the path of an oncoming vehicle, instead of just keeping their lane, really. Oh well, never mind. <laughs> Next, now we've got another one of these bits here that we can then yoink cross over again. I think those are the old border crossings. I guess we dipped into Hungary a little bit. I mean, it is lunchtime, so... Well, we definitely need to go to the services now, I think, because otherwise we're going to be taking a Ghost lot trip. more engine malfunctions. That we don't really want to be suffering all the time. I'm surprised I still have 12th gear, quite frankly. <laughs> My ETA is now down below midnight, interestingly, or about midnight, where previously it was 1am. So we've shaved off a decent amount of time slash distance. Yeah, this intersection right here Go straight. doesn't even have traffic lights. It's, it's one main road crossing another main road. No traffic lights, no interchange. How? But if that's real, true to real life, that is just a black spot. Turn right. Like there must be so many accidents at an intersection like that. Turn. And so comes to close another super long delivery that we've been obliged to do for this. Turn. What's the bending? I completely misunderstood the instructions and I could have just done 10 short deliveries just to and from France or something. Wouldn't surprise me. 
but my interpretation is that it's different countries that we're having to visit. And regardless, it's more interesting that way. So, you know. Good work, apparently. <laughs>